Hey, hey guys, Mal Modeler here. We've got another kit comparison video for you today. Um, so, I've built the uh, Ravel BF109G and the Hobby Boss 109G and have thought to myself, you know what, there's not really a lot of difference in these. Um, someone mentioned how good the Tamiya kit was, so I bought that. Airfix brought their new tooled one out with this phenomenal um, colour scheme uh, which is currently blurred out by the light but that one and I thought to myself you know what this is one of those aircraft that is quite difficult to get wrong so I've basically gone out and bought the um, Italeri option and this um, Zesda version which is a snap together kit and basically we're going to do a side-by-side -side build um, of four of them and, and see what that looks like. Uh, but before we do that, part one of this video needs to be to have a look at the actual kit itself. So I'm going to start with the Hobby Boss options because I think they're basically the, the starting point. We'll then look at the Zvezda Snap Together kit, the one from Italeri, the one from Airfix and then finally the Tamiya kit. So we've got a lot to get through, so let's get cracking. So during lockdown, uh, I had a look at Hobby Boss as a new kit manufacturer to me that I thought, ooh, these look pretty good. Um, they did some unusual stuff that you don't see very often, um, you know, some, some of the Russian aircraft. Uh, and I started to have a look at some of the other stuff that they did, namely their FW190 and their uh, Messerschmitt 109. Um, I bought all three boxings, so they do the BF109G6 early and late, and then they do the G10, I think it is. Um, so you can see this is this is the the later version, and I bought this one as a replacement for the Ravel kit, which I'm not including in this video, but that doesn't mean you should discount it. It's a very lovely kit. Um, the weakness of these kits, obviously, is the lack of cockpit detailing. But in this scale, if I bring that into camera, you can't see anything in there. So unless you're going to have the cockpit open, I don't see that as a weakness. So looking at this as a general aircraft, then I think this is quite nice. So with its cost point and its sort of ease of building it's a great starting point and if you want to build a collection of 109s why would you not just go with this one um, but we'll see what the others look like we'll see what the others build up like but yeah we'll start with this one as our benchmark uh, you can see i've also gone with the the other sort of gray option and the reason I bought the Zvezda kit was because I wanted the decals to steal for this one. Um, but yeah, so the winter version. Uh, let's take a look inside the box at one of these. What I would say is they're basically exactly the same. They've got different fuselage and different wing um, options depending on which boxing you get. And you have obviously different decals as well. Um, two decal options for each one. So let's have a look. So you can see on the instructions, uh, it's pretty much the, the wing piece sticks to the fuselage, cockpit goes on, tail goes on, propeller, undercarriage, and done. So a very simple build. And you get Two different options um, so this one here are that's the same decal options as you get in the Tamiya kit um, you've also got this option here and if we have a look at the other boxing da, 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 da. this is where I should really be doing some clever editing but uh, there you go you can see you've got another two options there and this is the one that I have built. So, like I say, straightforward kit, 
easy to build, comes together really nicely. Uh, why would you not? Now let's have a look at the Zvezda kit because that's a snap together kit and I'm intrigued to know what that's going to be like. So first off let's take a look at the box art. Uh, now this is obviously a really nice example um, of this particular aircraft, the winter camouflage with the big green heart, the um, I think that's a Bavarian shield, um, but yeah looking really nice. Uh, so inside we have the decals, um, so we've got decal options for two different aircraft including the box art one, so that's all very nice. Uh, we have the instructions which are like that. Um, so straight away we start with the wings and these are snapped together so there's no glue required here. Um, I'll still be using glue I think just because yeah I'll be doing a lot of sort of filling and sanding I suspect. Uh, but then you come into the, the cockpit area and it looks like a really detailed cockpit this one uh, particularly adding the pilot um, you could obviously cover a lot of that but for a snap together kit you've got a lot of nice dip cockpit detailing there uh, then the fuselage halves go together and then snap onto the, the wing section then we move on to the, the propeller and the um, the exhausts and you can see how they interlock with one another so that should be really cool uh, then we've got the snap-on cockpit which means we can't have an open cockpit so that wonderful interior that's all nice and detailed we now won't see uh, then the undercarriage goes on and you've got the option there of uh, wheels up or wheels down uh, and then final stage is the aerial goes on. So it looks nice and simple, should be a really nice build. Then we have the decal placement, which I've never seen like that before. Um, I suppose it's clear enough, um, don't know. But yeah, interesting way of doing it. I've never seen it done like that before, as I say. Uh, and yeah, when we do the actual build, we'll see what that's like. Uh, yeah, let's have a look at the plastic then. So we've got the um, the canopy in its own little bag. That's not in focus. There we go. Looks okay. And then we have the single bag, uh, and we're going to get that out so we can have a look at what the plastic actually looks like. So two main sprues then, and let's look at the fuselage. Let the camera do its job. Get into focus. There we go, right, I'm going to get that one out of the way. Hopefully this will focus now. There we are. So this is the outside of the fuselage. You can see there in the light, nice and crisply tooled. If we flip this over, you can see there's a bit of detail on the inside of the cockpit there. So yeah, that's looking good. And then we have the, the wing options. Wing area, where's the lens? There we go. So here's some of the cockpit stuff. Nice bit of detail there. Um, and the wings themselves, looking pretty crisp again. And on the other side, Apologies about uh, Charlie's hair that appears to have got on there. But yeah, looking good. So this is going to be an interesting one because it's a snap together kit. Um, so yeah, we'll see what that's like. Let's move on now to the Italeri option. So first off then, we have this lovely box up. Um, we've got 109 shooting down a B25 Mitchell. Uh, and interestingly, this is the same colour scheme as the uh, Hobby Boss one that I have already done, which is this one here. Uh, my camera is really not playing ball today. There we go, that one. 
Uh, so yeah, Italeri have done, done that colour scheme. All very nice. And if you flip that over, you can see you've also got a second option, which is that one. Right, inside the box we have the instructions, which look like this. Um, so a bit of information about the aircraft itself. And it's one of those fold out booklety things, which I hate, but here we go. That's what we've got. So sprue maps to begin with. Uh, then we've got a cockpit area that looks relatively basic. Um, fuselage halves with no tail. Then we come across and you can see, I don't know if you can actually, there we go. Um, you've got the uh, cowling goes on the top, the tail goes together, wings go together, and then the wings attach to the fuselage here. Cockpit goes on. Now this one you can have open, um, so whether you would use that on the Zvezda kit maybe, um, where you've got a better interior. Uh, and then obviously undercarriage, propeller, that goes on, then you've got the choice of bombs or cannon. So again, relatively straightforward. Then we've got our decal placement uh, in black and white. And you've actually got four different options when I fold that out, including the Swiss version, which would be very nice to do, a bit unusual. Um, so let's take a look at those decals then, because you can see they look pretty colourful, pretty crisp. And yeah, nice option that one. So let's have a look at the plastic itself, see how good that is on the Italeri kit. So let's start with the wings then. Uh, you can see that is very nicely crisp and detailed on the wing surfaces there. So already that is better than the Hobby Boss and Zvezda options, I would say. And you've got the, the bomb there. And let's move on to the fuselage. There we go. So you've got the, um, the engine cowling there. Fuselage halves, again, nice and crisply tooled. Uh, the exhausts are already moulded there, um, but with a bit of masking um, and the cowling going on top, you might be all right, get away with that. Then here we go with the cockpit area. So you can see there's not a lot of detail there. So if you were going to have the canopy open, you'd want a better interior. But yeah, looking okay. So we're getting through these now. Uh, let's have a look at the Airfix offering. So straight off, we've got a winner when it comes to box art. I think that is absolutely stunning. That gorgeous color scheme um, of the BF-109 um, flying against the B-17s in box formation. Fabulous stuff. Um, now, I have to admit, I've had a look at this already and I was a little disappointed because it's quite a basic kit and I thought this was a, a new toolkit from Airfix. I thought it was going to be this fabulous one. Um, but like I say, yeah, a little disappointed. However, the decal options are phenomenal and I'll be doing both of these color schemes. Um, I think I'm probably going to use the Tamiya kit to do this, this particular one. Um, and then obviously one of these others that I'm building, I'll use for that one. Well, I might use the Airfix one for the, the Night Fighter one. But yeah, just looking at that box art, gorgeous. Let's see what's inside the box. Looking at the instructions then, we have uh, some information about the aircraft, um, quite typical of Airfix. Then inside, we see how basic this kit is. Um, so if you look at the interior, um, you've got almost nothing on the side walls there, and you are reliant on the pilot taking up most of that cockpit space to give you your detail. Uh, fuselage 
are literally halves. Um, propeller goes together. The wings are made up of three parts. And then that attaches to the fuselage. Tailplane goes on. Uh, drop tanks together. The undercarriage itself, you can see this is a single piece. Um, and the wheels and tyres go on. Cockpit, air intake, and then you've got your cannon and your drop tanks going on. So that's it. Um, that's a very basic kit. I mean, that's on a par with the Hobby Boss kit in terms of ease of assembly, uh, which you know could be a good thing. We have to remember that Airfix are catering for a number of different you know, variety audience, including beginner modelers who are going to want a Spitfire, Hurricane, and a 109 in their collection. Um, so, looking at these color schemes, then absolutely amazing options that you've got there of the boxings I've seen this is definitely the best pairing uh, and yeah of all of these 109s that you've seen I'll be using I'll be painting both of these very nice so let's have a look at the plastic so typical of Airfix it comes in this single jiffy bag uh, but then when you take that out you've got um, your clear parts sprue with four different cockpit options there. Interesting, all of which are closed. Then we have the fuselage halves and the wings. And what's annoying is that that is rather nicely tooled. Um, it's almost like we need Airfix to produce a sort of more advanced one. But yeah, that's that. And then if we come on to the wings, uh, the lower wings, again, you can see they're beautifully tooled. So I suppose this is one that, you know, once it's all built together, will should look really good. Uh, and then we have the, the ordnance and the undercarriage, um, all looking very, Sort of straightforward nice so yeah um, slightly disappointing that the kit is not amazing uh, but it does look like it should build up to a nice one um, so basically we're talking about a lot of easy kits we've got the hobby boss we've got the Zvezda snap kit we've got this one from airfix the Italeri one doesn't look that complicated but then we come on to what I would describe as the sort of more professional kit and that's from Tamiya now I've not built this yet, but I bought this on the basis that people who have built it have said it's phenomenal. Um, and I have actually, just before recording this, watched a build video of this exact kit. Uh, and I'll put a link in the description because the work that the guy's done is phenomenal. Um, but yeah, let's, let's have a look. Um, I mean, first of all, box art, lovely. And we've got this, uh, this option again with the, the eyes. Uh, personally, I don't like it. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. I'm not a fan, but it's clearly quite an iconic um, 109. Uh, right, let's have a look inside. So we have the instructions that look like that. We have some information about the aircraft in what looks like in Japanese. Uh, then we've got some sort of technical tips and then we have the decals and the sprues themselves. So let's take a look at the instructions first. So they're in black and white um, and again you've got this annoying sort of fold out thing. Now I don't know who thought that was a good idea. When you're trying to put that on your workbench and it folds out into something that is a metre long that's quite annoying. Anyway, let's ignore that and let's focus on the review and what the instructions actually show us. So, cockpit, straight away, this is the best one I've seen. Um, really well detailed. Um, and you've got a number of stages there. Coming through the top here. Again, looking really nice and detailed. Then the fuselage halves come together. Um, 
then the engine cowling goes on top of that and a bit more cowling going on air intake uh, then we come on we've got the oil intake underneath and then the cockpit sits in underneath um, tailplane going on now the tailplane is a single piece which means you can't do this sort of rudder elevation sort of angle uh, then we have the um, the wing construction uh, now what is really annoying is that I thought based on the box art you'd be able to do this with the flaps down and I've had a look at the actual plastic and the mouldings are a single piece which means that's not possible um, but yeah there we go we've got the radiators going together and then that attach the wings themselves attached to the fuselage and what I think is really cool here is this undercarriage bit so they get built like that and then they go together like so with a bottom plate pinning them in brilliant that um, and then you've got the drop tank going on so 30 no sorry that's not to lie uh, then we've got the the cockpit and we have the ability to have that open which obviously given the detail of this particular one that's something we're going to want to do uh, then we have the decal placement options there for two aircraft all very nice uh, so let's have a look at the plastic we have the clear part sprues um, for the cockpit open and closed we have the decals themselves which look really quite nice uh, in fact let's get those out there we go so now you can see what they look like very nice all good uh, then we have the kit itself in a single sprue and again let's have a look and see inside so here we have the plastic itself now if I can get that in the light just right you can see you've got very fine panel lines but very crisp detailing on those wings coming across to the fuselage halves it's the same story there very subtle well detailed panels um, you can see why this is a sort of seen as the better kit um, and it'll be interesting when we actually build this whether it builds any better because I'm always told that Tamiya goes together really well um, if you shake the box too hard be careful because it'll assemble itself in the box but yeah um, looks really good and yeah I hope this has been useful this is going to be part one this is the the comparison of the kits themselves and then part two will be building them um, and seeing what the finished results look like uh, and I'm hoping that that will give us something interesting to sort of see how they how they vary in the way they construct so yeah stay tuned for that one and I will catch you next time thanks guys bye